We're in Cincinnati, home of the Cincinnati Bengals at the Concrete Jungle. You know, people say this town is a real hellhole. <laughs> they couldn't be more right. You know, my Goober driver almost fell into this giant sinkhole on the way to the hotel. It don't surprise me. One of Satan's favorite cities to hang in. Makes sense he's got his own highway to hell, right? Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The insane Colts go up against the Cincinnati Mangles. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I'm a Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzro with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Fricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saginaki. Oh, uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take your shampoo and ooze Stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Second down and six. A great throw and a great catch. But sadly, to the oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on you. This guy can talk before he died. What do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! <laughs> and it's first and ten. for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot! That's why we love the MFL! <laughs> and it's first and ten. It's a brutal hit. Oh. 
Second down in a very lot. Don't worry. If he shocks you to death, and Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. He ripped. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to. If you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. Second down and two. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> He's not going to... He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Third and two. Running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. He's got a good chiropractor. Whoa, Mama! Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. 
Stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, or at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Third down in. The punter is warming up. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. And that's another turnover for the defense. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 20. Here comes the defense. He scores! Ah, this guy's a blowhard like the prom king of my senior prom. Thought he could be his too. I brought a zombie as my date. Man, that broad could he? She took advantage of the 50 bucks ahead. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. There were any functioning brain cells before that hit. They're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And it's first and ten. in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Boom! The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. A pickup of about three on that play. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. And it's first and ten. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're in it. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, eight.
nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. And the defense falls for that trick all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field, literally. Second down and ten. He picks up a two. Third down and eight. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And it's first and ten. He just got crushed. Oh, uh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. First and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And that is caught for a first down. First and ten. Boom! Dead and down! He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, nah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. Too close, though. Yep. First and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, killer hit. Literally. 
Foley. I love how they explode into a shower of blood and guts. Yeah, the pieces of him are flying into the cheap seats. Fans will have a nice souvenir to take home. Come on, look. Come on, son. <laughs> The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. Cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And we're at the two minute warning. I gotta pee. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and the quarterback throws another pick. He should have been... If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. team in a hole. Second down and ten. Nicely done for a first down. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. First and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. First and ten. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the rep didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And into the end zone for a touchdown. No. Once he got his hands on that pass, he lives off to the races. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sit. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stopping time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get... Boom!
And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. That ball was almost intercepted. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? The QB launches a rocket deep down for. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Perfect pass and a score! You know, his great-grandfather was in that movie Alien 17! Where is Ripley when he needed to bust out the big guns? Man, he's just leaving one big skid mark out there. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back for the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. Well, the game is as close as the score indicates. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. This guy's a brick shithouse. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The 20. He's at the 10. And he picks up the loose ball and rumbles into the end zone for the score. Nice going. <laughs> the burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. No! Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs> First and ten. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, I can't do this. 
Second down and a lot. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And he pulled a eight, dirty trick. And another interception. This court, he can go all the way. He's at the he's running out of gas now. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. And they saved the deli. Who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on Rye with the uh, no mustard? <laughs> Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room straight through the uprights the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Well, if I was that QB, I'd be pissed. Third down and forever. You can't keep a good... The defender says, I don't think so. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The offense will get it on the 20. And it's first and 10. Oh, and that's how you play defense. 
Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Second down and 10. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Point with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have an interception, though. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Great shoestring tackle. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. First and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to hit. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hits. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. Should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight. Boom, dead and down. Nothing. The Cincinnati Mangles win at home by forfeit. I like the sound of that grim. Forfeit. Four finger. Foreshadow. Uh oh, sounds fancy. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Uh, how about it? How about if you not? shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Okay, Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every.